The MMF, or Multi-Mode Filter, is a two-pole state variable design that is a collaboration between WMD devices and SSF, or Steady State Fate. There are three reasons why I wanted to share this particular filter with you. One, it's a particularly good design of such a small package. Two, it's a great example of how different filters can sound compared to each other. And three, it has something called a ping input, which you don't see on many filters, so I wanted to explore that as well. Now, in just this tiny 4HP package, you have your normal audio input and three discrete outputs, low pass, band pass, and high pass. It has two control voltage inputs for its cutoff. One is a dedicated one volt per octave input, so you can track the keyboard. And since it does self-resonate, you can even use it as a sine wave oscillator. And a second FM input that goes through this attenuverter, meaning you can dial in a positive or negative response from your envelope, LFO, etc. It also has a resonance CV input, which is not all that common in filters. And finally, it has that ping input that I'll talk about last. Since the MMF is a two-pole filter with a 12 dB per octave slope, and the Moog Mother 32 has a four-pole filter, which is a 24 dB per octave slope, you'd expect it's just a matter of brightness. You know, how many high frequencies are getting through in low-pass mode, how many low frequencies are getting through in high-pass mode, etc. However, the resonance character of these two filters is very different and creates a very different sonic imprint rather than just being brighter or duller. For example, I'm going to sustain a note on the Moog. Sustain level turned all the way up, patched to the filter right now. And you can see the low pass characteristic of this particular filter. There's cut off all the way up. And cut off down. As I increase the resonance, you'll see a peak right around where the cutoff frequency is tuned. With a fairly smooth fall off afterwards, and a second very small resonant peak about an octave above. You'll also notice that the level got lower as I changed the resonance. That's the side effect of Bob Moog's famous transistor ladder design. We'll go ahead and just scan the cutoff a little bit here so you can see it move. By comparison, I'm going to go ahead and take that same square wave output, as you see going through my scope here, plug that into the input of the MMF, Take the output, which will be the yellow trace, and route that back into the external input on the Moog. I'm going to raise it to cut off all the way and turn the resonance all the way down so that it does not interfere with the sound of the MMF. Finally, I will patch in the same envelope as we had going to the Moog into its FM input. I'll draw in a note. And the first thing to talk about is the difference in signal levels coming out of these two filters. The green trace is the square wave from the Moog, and you see it's plus or minus 5 volts. And the Mother 32 happens to be fine-tuned for a plus or minus 5 volt signal. As you increase the resonance, the level comes down. However, as I increase the resonance on the MMF, you'll see that the resonance drives that level way over plus or minus 5 volts. It's closer to plus or minus 8. As I reduce the filter cutoff by reducing the sustain level going to it, you see how those peaks maintain. Now, if I was to run this filter at unity level into the mother, it would actually overdrive it. That's why I have it going through utility mix right now. As I turn the utility mix up to unity gain, you hear a difference in tone, and you see some higher harmonics appear, particularly low cutoffs. That's if I let the full signal through. And that's if I cut the output of the MMF down to the plus or minus 5 volts that the Mother 32 expects. So right away, you know that this filter can increase your signal level, which can overdrive other modules downstream, for better or for worse. So, keep a utility mixer around so you can go ahead and adjust that behavior between a little bit overdriven or clean. Second, I'm going to turn the resonance down, turn my sustain back up again, and we'll see the filter cutoff looks a bit different and the Mother 32s. The slope has a very different look to it. And as I increase resonance, it really changes. Not only did it not go down in level, you see we have a very pronounced hump that's one octave above that cutoff frequency. That means the two filters are going to have quite a different character. And indeed, they sound quite different in practice. Let's take that drone off, set up a little arpeggio, there's a mother high resonance. The mother low resonance. Now let's 
switch over to the MMF filter. Same cutoff frequency, no resonance, sounds brighter like you would expect for a two-pole filter. But as I increase the resonance, you hear quite a different character. This is more of a wetter or squelchier sound as some people might describe it. Cut that sustain. Back to the Moog. You hear how the sounds are quite different. The mother is much more contained rather than a little bit crazy. I'll go to sore notes so you can really hear it per note. Go back to the MMF. So you can hear that the character of the filters is considerably different than just whether or not it's four-pole or two-pole. Now, in addition to having a low-pass output, the MMF also has bandpass and high-pass. And we'll just quickly dial through a few sounds with those. Get the arpeggio running again. Switch over to bandpass. Start playing around with the settings. Slow it down a little bit. Switch over to high pass. This is where reverse envelopes come in handy. Compared to a positive. And another nice thing about the MMF is that the cutoff and the resonance can be modulated into audio frequencies. I'm going to patch a sine wave out of my disting here through another attenuator so I can adjust how deep that modulation is. I'm going to take it into the one volt per octave input, which is just another CV input for the cutoff. Since I have an external attenuator, I can use that to control the depth. Very thick modulated sound. I'll change the octaves on my disting. And again, I can also FM the resonance amount. I'll turn down my FM depth here on the cutoff. Trace that output, move it over to the resonance, start increasing that. Pretty subtle with that tuning. Let's try putting the disting in a different octave register. We'll get a little more depth here. lower frequency is not quite as deep as frequency modulating that cutoff. In the next movie, which is part of the Yorack expansion course, and which will later be on the Patch and Tweak website, I'll explore that ping input on the multimode filter.